Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, Saturday. It is July 6th of, no, it's not July, it's April 6th of 2019. And I'm going to tell you a little story. And then I'm going to show you, it was just storming a little while ago and I took a couple of videos. I took, uh, well, where'd I put the cameras now? Oh, here they are. Uh, the first video I took was with the uh, Panasonic LX7. Uh, they have a new model out, well, a bunch of new models out. And then I took some more video of the storm with my uh, new Panasonic G7. But I'm going to tell you a little story, and I should I start out once upon a time? This is St. Vincent's grade school. I went here, Catholic grade school. Uh, I went there for the fifth and the sixth and seventh grade. Now the sixth and seventh grade at the time were combined. The Catholic schools were getting away with doing that or they had some kind of a deal. I'm not sure what the situation was, but then either the Kansas City, Missouri Board of Education or maybe the state uh, can't, after I graduated a year or two, maybe the next year, uh, informed the Catholic schools you couldn't do that anymore. You had to have, you know, separate grades. I think the Catholic schools are so poor. Uh, I think they did it to, because uh, they didn't have a junior high or anything. So <clears throat> I graduated 1955 from here. This is the St. Vincent's Church. Um, and over here, I'm not sure if it was that way then as the residence for the uh, pastor of the church or what have you. Um, now across the street was our playground. It did not have a fence then. And I'm not sure, I can't remember if there was actually asphalt there. <laughs> but... Uh, Also, I have some pictures I'm going to show you in addition to this, but not pictures of the school. Anyway, this St. Vincent's Parish in Kansas City, Missouri, I went there for those two grades. My father came from a family of seven brothers and three sisters, and they lived in St. Vincent's Parish, so all of them went to this school, you know, this church, like I was uh, baptized in this church, even though at that time we weren't in that parish. Uh, my parents were married in this church. My father, when he graduated from here, uh, his friend, uh, Oscar Huber, and him went to Conception Seminary to become priest. Uh, Father Huber continued on and became a Catholic priest and came back to this parish as the pastor. I, of course, I guess he probably didn't get immediately out of the seminary. My father, you know, contacted his parents and said, "I don't want to be. I don't want to be a priest. I want to come home." And they said, "No, you have to be the. You know, you have to be the priest in the family." So he. I'm not sure if he walked home or if he hitchhiked home. They said that he turned up dirty and ragged. The story I'm going to tell you is, don't have a good name for it. Anyway, let's go over here to 31st Street and let's go down here to the corner of 31st and Paseo. 
Now here, I, this was not here, of course. I'm not sure what was there. I don't think that, I think it might have been a vacant lot. Here's the church again. You know, and here, here's the school. 31st and Flora up there. Whoops, I didn't mean to go there. Back, let's go back. So, um, and here was the school cafeteria. And you, the rules were you had to eat in the school cafeteria or you could go home for lunch. And uh, I ate a few times in the cafeteria, but across the street on this corner where this building is now, where this parking lot is, there was a drugstore. And so what I started doing was just walking over here, coming over here every lunch, go in, and I would have a, <coughs> a malt, chocolate malt, and a hot dog. And I did that for quite a while, but then I was sitting in here one day at the counter, that's where I sat. I was sitting at the counter and I looked out the window and I saw a sister, whatever her name was, Fabian, I can't remember, coming down the street. They, at that point, uh, back at that time, uh, the nuns wore all their habit, you know, so they she had her long thing on had the hat. I don't know how they kept those hats from flying away because they were, each order had a little bit different type of hat or style or whatever with their beads, you know, the long beads. Why she didn't have just a little rope? Why they didn't just have little rosaries? I don't know. Uh, but she, they had the beads, you know. And she came flying. She didn't look too happy. And she came flying down here and she came right into the uh, drugstore got me by the ear, pulled me off the stool, and took me up here. And right over and took me into the church. And Father Huber, who was, um, <laughs> Who my, who my father went to school with and who they'd gone to the seminary together. He was the parish priest and she told him the horrible thing that I had done, you know, not eating in the cafeteria or going home for lunch and he sort of slammed me into the wall. He didn't hurt me or anything. I wonder, I mean, he knew who I was, of course. You know, the son of his boyhood, you know, friend or whatever. So I'm not sure if that was for show to her or if he really intended to, you know, I'm not sure. I wasn't hurt or anything, but I, of course, was told that I had to eat in the cafeteria or go home for lunch. So what I did was the next day or whatever, I headed on home. By the way, one time, I think I actually showed that, I think I actually showed the, uh, let's see, is that Highland? Yeah, I think, think of the next, think of the next one. Brooklyn. I think that's Brooklyn. Is that Brooklyn? Anyway, I headed on home, turned down one of these side streets here, and, uh, there was a donut shop there, a small, you know, privately owned. I don't think they had, you know, Dunkin' Donuts or things like that back in those days, franchises or whatever. There was a donut shop there, so I went in there and uh, I had several glazed donuts and ice cold root beer. I think it might have been, not sure. Oh, the best donuts I've ever had. The best, coldest root beer out of a glass bottle. 
that I ever had. I don't believe in God, but you know, if there is a God, when I get to heaven, my little cocker spaniel that I had for so many years will be there, lady waiting for me, and the donut shop with those fantastic glazed donuts and root beer. So that is my story. Doesn't sound that interesting now. Oh, what well, I mentioned, uh, I honestly, you know how the old men say, tell people, you know, when I was a kid, they tell kids, you tell young people, you know, oh, I had to walk 20 miles through the snow and through blizzards and through ice and all that type of thing. I remember walking through blizzards and snow and ice or whatever, and I thought that I probably walked quite a few miles in order to, you know, get to school here and uh, to St. Vincent's. I did the Google map thing, <laughs> checked it out, and uh, it was, uh, I think, less than a mile. Here are some results. Oh, I don't even know if that's, since on my cell phone, I don't even know if which service, not Alexa, it, whoops, I mentioned that Alexa over there. Okay, now, um, anyway, it was my, <laughs> I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been a Trumpism, because I actually believed it, um, until I did the, because it seemed like, I guess, when I was, you know, that age, it seemed like I was walking much, much further than what I was. Um, Let's minimize this. Let's move this over here. And I've got some pictures. I'm, and then, too, at the end of this, when I get done, don't touch the mouse because I'm going to run uh, two short videos of the weather. Um, oh, I didn't want the photo editor to come up. Oh, I guess that's okay. Uh... On the left here, on your, I don't know. anyway, this is my father, and this is uh, one of the daily boys, not one of the Huber boys, but one of the, and they're in their Boy Scout uniforms, so it's Francis Daly. They were in the sixth grade, and they were in the Boy Scouts. A few years ago, I because I've, I've moved so many times, I've had to throw so much stuff away. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this, but uh, maybe I can zoom in. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you can see it. This is the scarf. I was in the Boy Scouts. I well, not exactly. But, uh, I think the thing that the Boy Scout scarfs back then were you could make a tin out of the damn thing. It was I. But I moved so many times I threw it away. I would have, I've, I would have liked to have kept it. But uh, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go into the settings here and change. Or else we're going to keep getting the apps uh, default. Uh, video viewer. I'm going to change to the uh, recommended one for Windows. Okay, so I showed you this. My father and his friend. This I think can go in the trash. It's, no, wait a minute. I think it'd go in the trash. I think it's something with data on the picture, I believe. So I think this is the same picture. Okay, I edited this one, cropped it, so I cut out some of this here. 
it says on the back of the uh, photograph Francis Daly and James J. Jr. taken in Daly's backyard, sixth grade. Okay, um, maybe we move this up. Um, I think this is another one, Frank. Yeah, I must. Have, yeah, I've edited these things. I got to get that. And these are little extra files that are must contain data on the pictures. Um, come on. Oh, what did I do? Oh, scan. Maybe that's it. Maybe I moved some to the... Yeah, I did. So... Um, this, by the way, is my mother and her brother. And they both had red hair. And if he looks like... Uh, so that, that would be my uncle. Of course, he's passed away. And my mother, of course, has passed away. I, there's a camera. I edit the picture. Uh, here I am, May 25th of 1946, with my scooter. That would have been something because it was right after World War II and during World War II. And I was born in 1941, uh, March. And for the United States, World War, wait, did I say World War I? <laughs> World War II. Uh, for the United States, World War II started in December of 1941. So it was, uh, so this is 46, and we could, then we could get toys, you know, better toys, ones with metal, and uh, these looked like they were uh, tires you could actually put air into. Of course, I'm sure in England and the United Kingdom and and Europe or whatever, the kids weren't getting, still weren't getting, and for quite a few years there was rationing and stuff, I believe, even of food in England. So, um, okay, there's three pictures here that they're the same which one turned out the best. I think this one maybe, because I edited them a little bit. Of course, this is my mother. And this is, the dog was, that's my dog, uh, Lady Cocker Spaniel. And this is me. So this was our first television set. And it says on the back of the picture here, where's the camera? There we go. Jimmy and Betty taken, well, it would have been 20, 20, what well, says 20th Street Terrace. TV was first one we bought from Wasco. I worked there and received a good discount. I think. That was Western Auto, because she worked there for a short period of time. So I think that might be their, well, let's do it. Well, we'll do a search here in a minute. But anyway, that was our first television set. And it uh, doesn't have a date on it, but it would be easy to find out because the TV set was waiting for a television station to... I can do that. Just uh, go here. I think it would have been about 1949, so I'd have been, what, eight years old or something? I think I put in here uh, WDAF TV. Okay. 
1949. So we very seldom went any place. We uh, went downtown Kansas City to the municipal auditorium, and they had television sets in the auditorium up up around, and they must have had also, you know, uh, tables and things where, and they were demonstrating television, but there was no television broadcasting station in Kansas City, Missouri, and they didn't have videotape at that time, but they must have had, what, kinescope, or they had some, they had some way where they were, so you could, you weren't seeing a real TV broadcast, you were seeing a recording of a real TV broadcast or something. So my parents, uh, I wonder if I do a search for, um, do a search for W.A. I think that was Western Auto. I know she worked for Western Auto. So I think W.A. S. C. O. Uh, let's see. Yes, look at here. Western Auto. No, Wholesale Auto Supply. Uh huh. Anyway, I think it was Western Auto. I think that must have been the name for. Uh, she worked uh, not retail, but she worked in there as a uh, secretary, you know typing, doing something, or whatever. Um, see if there's any more pictures in the... I thought I did, but I guess I didn't do... I guess not. I got a whole stack of pictures here to do, but I guess I didn't get them scanned. But let me show this, okay. And I showed this before. Uh, down here, Link Up Magazine, March of 1984. Uh, Rick Manning did a article, the top 10 ports of call for BBS travelers. And that's page one. Here is page two of the article. And in this area here, it says Jim Howard's bulletin. Jim Jim Howard's board in Raymore, Missouri, may be the only personal BBS in the country that operates without disk storage. And then over here, you have you know the diskless BBS Howard's notebook. Don't call that phone number. You know, it's I don't know whose phone number it would be now. So don't call that phone number. By the way because my BBS was moved in 1995 to the World Wide Web. And then there's page three, which would be the last part of the uh, story. Looks like there's only two lines. Okay. Um, By the way, <clears throat> the lighting probably looks better. I'm using, I showed you last time, I'm using these lights that are, work on Wi-Fi so I can control them from my cell phone. So I can uh, turn them off. I'll turn off number two just by hitting that. And I still have number one going. But then I have the option of changing colors and doing all types of stuff. And uh, I won't do that. And by the way, I do want to buy a new microphone. And I can't afford to do it right now.
but as soon as I can, and then I'll do a review of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, on the Amazon wish list, I think. Amazon. Uh, let's see, list, wish list. Here it is. Apparently, HyperX is a gaming company. Anyway, I saw somebody did a review of this on YouTube. And uh, I, I have a whole bunch of microphones, as you know. But I do plan on purchasing this and reviewing it. It looks a lot like, you know, my Blue Yeti. But, uh, and he did a review. <coughs> and he had Blue Yeti and several others and tried it. You know, they all sounded, I have hearing difficulty. And uh, they all sounded about the same to me, but I still want to get this. And also, it, it will, you know, uh, this actually here, when, when you tap the button, it turns on, and, and so the you'll know if the light is red, uh, you know, you should be picking up. If you click it and it goes dark, then you're not, not recording. It's USB. You can also put a headphone jack, and I'll put a head in there, head, headphone jack and monitor on, which I never do, which I should do because there's been some times that I have spent 60 minutes or 90 minutes uh, making a video and then there was no audio. Okay, don't touch the mouse. I'm going to let you watch a few minutes of rain, thunder, and lightning from Fort Worth, Texas on April 6th of 2019. Thank you very much. J.D., hey, get out of the, get out of the chat room. I got the door open there. J.D., get out of it. Don't make me go outside in the rain to get this video here. It's raining in Fort Worth. JD, get in here from the, what, I gotta stop this cat. Inside cat eating outside cat food. Let's see, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, I think it's the 6th. I think it is uh, April 6th of 2019. Fort Worth, Texas. I'm using my Panasonic G7. Just got it in automatic, uh, automatic mode. Getting a little rainstorm here. I haven't checked to see, you know, what the forecast is. I love rain. I've taken a lot of pictures and videos, especially in Florida when I was there, of storms. I lost a whole bunch of the videos. I uploaded them to different services, 
that were free and then I paid for extra storage and then when I got tired of paying for extra storage I uh, canceled the service and then when I can't you know I, I didn't cancel the service I canceled the extra storage and uh, I lost my uh, those extra I lost those videos and I hadn't used all of the you know the data up. I especially had some I was that point I was living in uh, Orlando yeah and I had some uh, from there I took some pictures of the the space shuttle launch and I could see in the uh, the video the rocket you know going up and the booster tanks break away and were falling and everything I thought it was a really nice you know video you know from a great distance and uh, of course those pictures images were lost I haven't been good about backup, and I've never been good about backup. <laughs> and I've had uh, I've had computers since 1978, I believe. This is the Panasonic uh, G7, which I hardly ever use. I need to use it more. Just had some powerful earlier before I started uh, some powerful lightning and thunder. And, ooh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, that was good thunder. I'm not sure you got the full effect of the lightning because it was coming from over in that direction. Today is uh, Saturday. Ooh, another lightning flash. With this G7, I bought it with, well, what, a, a 50 millimeter or whatever, not the 50, but it's not. Very good for uh, video blogging, but for the rest of everything, it's does not. I need a need to get about a hundred and fifty dollar lens, I guess. Let me flip this around. There we go. That's that's why this is a good lens. It is a good lens for this. camera is not waterproof. I have three Panasonic cameras and I don't think any of them are uh, waterproof. I do need, I should, I hate to buy another one, but I, I should have a waterproof camera. a little bit out of focus now. I'm not sure if that's if it's focusing on the rain or what. It looks out of focus. Maybe there's some oh it's, the rain is I'm gonna have to move back here a little bit. I do not want to kill this camera that I've hardly uh, hardly ever used. Anyway just wanted you to see the rain and hear the thunder. Uh, thank you very much for watching.